Hi, welcome to another video. So, if I told you that there's a Chinese company, which is mainly a food delivery company, but they decided to make a large language model, and then they actually built a pretty big one, about a 600 billion parameter model, that beats Sonnet in a ton of benchmarks, is great at tool calling, and is just a great model overall. And on top of that, it's also open source. Well, that's exactly what we have today. And this one is called Longcat. Longcat is by MyTuan, which, if you guys aren't familiar, is actually one of the biggest food delivery and local services platforms in China. Longcat, specifically the core version called Longcat Flash, is a massive language model, and it has 560 billion total parameters. It's built on a mixture of experts architecture, or MOE for short. Basically, what that means is instead of firing up all 560 billion parameters every time you prompt it, the model dynamically activates only the experts it needs for a given input, which is usually around 18 to 31 billion parameters per token, averaging about 27 billion. This is super efficient and lets you get really good performance without the insane compute overhead you'd normally expect from a model of this scale. It is a kind of new thing, because generally the activated parameters is static, but here they have made it dynamic, where it has experts that are of different sizes, and it can be even faster for some tasks rather than traditional experts. You can use it on Longcat's site for free, without any account needed. It's all free and also extremely fast. They seem to be working on a thinking variant of the model, and it will be really cool to see when it comes out. There's no official API for it, and you still probably need around 8 H200 clusters in order to run this, which is a lot. The issue is that most providers don't have this model available to run, apart from one provider, which is Shoots. Shoots offers it for about 19 cents for input and 80 cents for output per 1 million tokens. To test it, I ran it on Lightning AI with 8H100S, and deployment was kind of fine. SG Lang has official support for it in the latest version, while VLLM hasn't yet merged their PR. So, I'd recommend using SG Lang if you also want to deploy it. Also, it uses Flash Infer. So, install that as well, and it's pretty fast. It ran all the Kingbench tests in almost under a minute. So, let's talk about the tests. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Micro SaaS Fast. Dreaming of launching a Micro SaaS or AI side project, but wasting weeks setting up auth, payments, and SEO? Check out Micro SaaS Fast, a Next.js boilerplate with Clerk, Stripe, Resend, PostgreSQL, and AI instructions that cut hallucinations by 90% for Vibe coding. Easy backend integration with Python, Node, and Go. It is built and used by a CTO who helped 50 plus founders to launch SaaS in the past year. You can save 50 plus hours and actually ship faster. Check now. Link is in the description. Now back to the video. In the results, the floor plan that it generates is not amazing, but it works. You can actually see the walls and everything. The furniture it tries to put in doesn't really work, but it's still decent. Now, one of the best things it can do is create SVGs. And you can see that this panda SVG with a burger looks kind of awesome. Like, really great. The pokeball in 3JS doesn't work. But the chessboard with autoplay is actually great. It follows the rules, though it makes many dumb moves, but they're still legal moves. You can also see the logs of the moves it makes, and everything as well. If we look at the Kandinsky Minecraft clone, then you can see that it also works. The Kandinsky style makes it kind of glitchy, but still, it is able to do this, and it works well. Also, the butterfly doesn't work at all and is just a blank screen, which is a bummer. The CLI tool for image conversion also works well without any issues, though the Blender script for it is not good. And although it makes some elements, 
it doesn't look like a poke ball. So, there's that. But the general riddle is solved pretty easily by it. And if we look at the leaderboards, then it scores fourth place, which is awesome. The score difference between this and DeepSeek GLM is pretty small. So, consider it to be similar in performance to them. Now comes the tool calling part. They say this model is really good at tool calling, and I tested it for AI coding. I didn't test it with shoots, but that should also work fine. It is amazingly fast if you deploy it on Lightning AI with 8H200S. I first asked it to make me a movie tracker mobile app using Expo, and you can see that it went ahead and did it really fast. The tool calling and everything worked well here. It didn't have a lot of failures either, and it ran terminal commands, checked them, wrote some good code, and was able to build this out. This looks kind of good and works well. You can see the movies, search for them, check them, and everything, which is pretty cool for sure. And it was mostly a one-shot generation with just one error fix. So yeah, this actually works. I tried the same movie tracker app in Next.js, and it was also great. It worked fast and was able to build this out, and it works pretty well. This is a really awesome model, and just another great one to come out of China. I mean, it is mind-boggling to me that OpenAI, which is an AI company, built GPT-OSS, which is amazingly bad, whereas people from a food delivery company built a model that is so good. It's their first-gen model, and it's also kind of sad to see that inference providers are not supporting it. I mean, Every provider supports a subpar model like GPT-OSS, but no one supports such a good model. I hope providers start adding this model, and Open Router should also go ahead and add it to their platform. This is a really good model, and I'd highly recommend you check it out via Shoots or by deploying it on Lightning AI or any GPU cloud. I hope we also get quantization for this model because there's no quantization available yet. It's not yet available on Olama either, which is mind-bogglingly stupid. I really hope Longcat adds an official API platform or support for it, because I think the majority of people are still not using this awesome model. Go ahead, give this a try, and check it out for yourself. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.